Okay. New game. I am going to unplug my controller so that doesn't get something we need to hear. Okay. <laughs> so, we're back at it. Select archetype. Create my own. Intelligence. We're... Let's just go back to being shit. We're really good at intelligence, though. That's what I want. Then we're okay. We're bad at everything else. But we're smart. We're pretty shit, but we're smart. That's all I want. My signature skill, my signature skill is going to be Encyclopedia, which will call upon all my knowledge. This is what I was thinking about today, when I was thinking about talking to people, being an actor, understand creativity, make law, physics, yeah, logic, nah, nah. We just want to know things, because this will be, this will be my lore. Uh, these are all cool skills and all, but I just, I just want to be smart. I want to know about the world around me, because I want to learn about this setting as a whole. I might have to pick a new place for a model to go, depending on um, how this game's text box pop up, but it should be cool. The Furies are at the home in the mirror. It is their address. Even the clearest water, if deep enough, can drown. There is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious immensity. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Ever. Never, ever. Never, ever, ever, baby. Simply keep on non-existing. An inordinate amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. Ah. Uh, what was that about the ex-something? An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle. Soaking in some lurid acidic source, it's bloated and shameful of the ball of meat surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat thing. No, I think I wanted to know about the X something. X love, X tenderness. It is foolish of you to resurface to the loss. Not after all the damage you've suffered to get here. Some of it irreversible. Stay. Sail with me through the abyss of allergic sun. No, I want to get off now. I like pain and burning light and wanting things from people who don't want to give them Do to me. You really? I do. You wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. Why do you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Or did you not sense yourself marinating? Hoard so much on yourself. Got a bit carried away, did we, Chef? I don't like this limbic system. This is a weird yeah. limbic yeah. system. Oh, hi there, Key. You Greetings. Out there first. I hope your ice cream's fun. Fear and apprehension. Chef, let's open that first. Ah. Tell me, There's what's waiting for me? There's this giant ball there. An evil ape. The, the update for this game? Yeah. It out or the update for your ice cream? No, I did not. I was busy setting my stream up. Them. Oh. It's basically all <laughs> just evil apes juking it out on a giant. <laughs> <laughs> Evil apes duking it out in the giant ball. How small are the apes? Small. Well, how big is the you ball? You can't even make out it's a ball when you're duking it out. It's that large. And this uh, duking it out I keep hearing about. What is that? Trying for resources. It's just a stupid expression you picked up somewhere. The part of the presentation you want to take home with you is this. You have 
to beat the other evil apes in the face. Oh, you lose. My limbic system is very rude. It's kind of sad, though. Yes, it is. And you drowned in that sadness a long time ago. Well, what do you mean, you drowned? I lost. The sound outside, you recognize it. It's a caprice committing a motor carriage. Huh. Huh. It's currently 8.06. This is my stats. I can do nothing else. Oh. Hey, there's some clothes. Let's take these. Let's take the shirt as well. There's gotta be another shirt around, right? Oh, you're slow. Hold tab to highlight. Oh. The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Okay, assess the damage. The shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Did I break this with my own hands? covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. What was the size of the impact? It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. Like the green shoe that's on the hat rack in the corner, which, coincidentally, is missing its friend. This game's super cool. All of the um all of the stats um show are narrated and talk to you. You smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you can still find the other on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. I should go the get cold that shoe. Wind gushes in. Your toes curl up from the cold. Okay. We're done with the shoe. Let's go into the broken room here. Oh, there's a shirt up here. I want that shirt. More clothes to wear. I should probably dress myself before exploring. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. It says whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. The whirling in rags is a hostel cafeteria on the urban coast, frequented by dock workers. All right. Thank you, Encyclopedia. That's what I wanted to know. Uh, do I have a key? Key to room one. I don't know how to use that, huh? What's the mirror like? A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet <laughs> off. Was this not the same Eno that founds empires and lays waste to cities, virile, uncaring towards the little things? Oh. Probably not, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my internal voices are having an argument. Hot water sprays from the faucet's base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself. Just, Just the vague, vague impression, impression of a man. man. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Really? Really. Nothing. All recollection of the person you are, the people in your life, and even the world you're in has drowned in a sea of blood alcohol. This was no mere night of drinking. It was a deluge of world-ending proportions. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror, abort. You clearly have not thought this through. 
You won't like what you see there, and you will never unbecome it. Who? I don't care. I gotta know. Oh, okay. Maybe. All right. Well, you have no idea who this thing is, do you? Dear Lord, help me. What's this? Of course I do. It's uh some kind of superstar. Yeah, I think it I'm a superstar. You're also dead. There's clearly <laughs> rigor mortis on your face. Oh wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? Um, I think it might be because I'm a superstar. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. No, this is what superstars do. You can't, can you? It's like <laughs> it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face, and now it won't come off. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Um... Superstardom? I kind of want to just lean into the bit and call myself the superstar. I'm intuiting that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm sort of pulling it off, too, in a sad, has-been kind of way. This charm is an expression of pain. Oh, God. Oh, man. Okay. Um, What do you guys think? Which one? Do I lean into the bit and pick superstardom? Do I imply that it's suggestive for the ladies? Or should I insuate? I'm liking one or four. Saver, what do you think? Key, one or four? Yeah, key's one or four as well. Okay. One or four. I kind of want to lean into the bit. The bit sounds like it could be fun. That I was just, I believe I'm a superstar. But also just the fact that this is just really sad is, um, good. One? Yeah. You should check yourself for a pulse. Superstar. From here. from here it looks like a cadaverous <laughs> yeah I'll check my pulse find no sign of life on your swollen neck however putting your hand on your chest reveals an irregular heartbeat <laughs> you appear to be alive encyclopedia yes I want to know like the rest of you it comes from a bad place oh. somewhere in the past that's all you know for now oh it's too late. Like an image on film. The expression belongs to your primary motor cortex. I failed my it would take a minor encyclopedia. Logical miracle for you to cease producing it. Okay. Alright. Well we're done we're done with that for now. Let's uh what's got what's got the bathtub going on? You see bottles. Alright, we're gonna wander around this room and see what we can find. Magnum-sized bottle of Commodore Red. Magnums are uh, one and a half liters. Rolling on empty. Okay, well. Let's grab my shoe and head out my door. Uh, I guess I could grab the tie. Yeah, let's do that as well. Okay, left foot shoe. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan. The other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. That's a 10 to grab my tie? Let's turn the fan the off first. Come squeaking to a halt. It should be easier to reach the tie now. Yeah, let's give that a shot now. You reach out to Oh god. What what is this? <laughs> what? Diffuse, radiating chest. <laughs> what? I double one the tie. I critically failed. This is bad. I took damage. Feels like sharp stones grinding in your chest and keeping you Okay. Moving. All right. For quite a long time. <laughs> Still ongoing. Now is a good time oh. to start worrying. Finally, the pressure recedes. You find yourself covered in cold sweat and uh. trying not to move. <laughs> hoping it will keep you from dying. Oh, wow. Okay, that's... <laughs> Let's a turn the light. Mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. No. It's just the lights. I'm good. Your eyes burn. Oh, sensitivity. It's not good. Okay. I actually took damage from turning the lights on. All right, let's leave my room and see what we can do. Let's actually got notes, huh? Tasks. Yes, my find my missing shoe. Take a look at my shoe. Doesn't give me stats. These give me stats. Okay. 
Oh, hey, I'm moving at a reasonable pace now. Before I go anywhere, let's see about going out on the balcony and finding my shoe. Oh, hey, what's this? A table? Hey, it's money. Yeah. Okay, well, I've looked for my shoe in a second. Let me look at the time. What what, what day is it? The calendar says March. News Hello, 51. Officer. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. A silver jumpsuit falls off her like scale armor, sparkling. This is the sparkle of too many nights out on the city. Am I military uh, personnel? No. Wait, I know I'm a businessman. CEO, no. Well, then why did you call me officer? Because you're a police officer, sir. Uh, are you I sure? Am, yes. Unless you've been feeding us a set of very well rehearsed lies all this time. <laughs> all this you've time? Been here for three days on official police business, no less. And what business is that? I couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. Oh. You have no doubt about the drinking. <laughs> but do you strike yourself as a tight lit drunk? She must have heard something. I might not know who I am. Or where I am, or who I am, or what a culprus kinema is. A cupri kinema. Or how I know what it once sounds like. She nods. But I do know when someone's not telling me the whole story. What am I doing here? There's I'm not gonna try that. that. I'm bad. He's been hanged. The body has been there for a week now. The locals probably got tired of it and called the cops. And why didn't you I just tell me that? I didn't mean to overwhelm you with information. You seem a bit... Lost. I'm not gonna try to seduce her. Look how bad my suggestion skill is. Did you not see the stat penalty my shirt gives me right now? Who in the right mind would let me be an officer of the law? Don't be so harsh on yourself. They let almost anyone be a police officer. <laughs> why well, don't I remember being could a cop? Be because of or anything drinking? else? All right, I'm going to leave for now. Of course. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. Gee, I, I dig it. She looks back at you, a light glinting off her eyes. Goodbye. Huh. All right. I'm not even going to risk that one. I don't I don't know what kind of damage I'm going to take if I if I fail that check. Oh, hey, he's got some cigarettes. Cool. I got over here, huh? Templement. That's French. Or maybe it is. <laughs> oh, I... Oh. oh, I can shift to run? Balcony. You can open a pry bar. Okay, cool. So WSD does move. It's not just click. Okay. We're gonna find out what this next step is. Oh, it's bright out here! Oh my god. Oh, I don't wanna shift. shift and tab at the same time, huh? Okay, what is this? There they both are. Two identical shoes. Both, both copiously, copiously green. green. <laughs> and indiscriminately snakeskin. Reunited on your feet. Like two baby crocodiles. These do not look like normal cop shoes. It's pretty clear a normal cop is not what you are. How do they fit? Good. They're balanced. Comfy. Feels like the only good thing about you right now. Truth be told. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, well thanks Composure for that. What do my shoes give me? Composure and I lose Savvy Fair. I'm low dex. <laughs> I'm low dex right now. But... I'm good at conceptualizing because I got my shirt on and uh, I'm smart. Okay. Can't put more points into skill. Drugs, ladies, learning caps, but they're bad for your health. Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> good to know. Here, can I look at anything else right now? No. Here, can I knock on this door? Nothing on the front page rings a bell. Oh, that was the, me looking at the newspaper. Strange. How do I go down? Equip a flashlight in low light areas. Makes sense to me. Okay. 
Ooh, this is a big pan. I like it. Okay. What are these? This is where the lyrics would be. Big old carry mark is waiting for someone to sing in it. The music is not the radio. The music is seasoned with static. You should totally sing karaoke here. The first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know your vast oceanic soul. <laughs> my soul is immense. It's modest, normal sized. Puny. My soul's cubic content is obscured by the hangover. Of course. At this point, precise measurements of your soul can only be performed from the outside. It needs to be heard. Through a PA system. By other people. This goes with the theory I'm developing that I'm a down on my luck superstar person. Who is mistakenly identified as a cop for his prominent jawline? Yes, sounds like it. <laughs> you should probably go on stage and pose for a moment when you're done with this thought. See if it works. What you should I sing? stumbled on the right lamentation, but it's out there. It'll come to you. You will wreak havoc with it. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, lamentation sounds good. They'll really get a gauge on my soul Serves with that. Some right. Wipe that smirk off their face with your sad, tragic... You have to find something tragic to sing first, though. Okay. Let's go pose on stage, see how this is. This feels right. I belong here. Alright, alright, well, good night, Key. Have a great rest of your evening. I hope it treats you well. A man in his late this is Gart, the cafeteria the counter, manager. Inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach... He gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. A competent work of taxidermy. Me. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs. One of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it, most likely on a wall. This is the great skua. The seabird is the symbol for the discovery of the Insulindian Isola. The part of the world you are in right now. Okay. That's a great skua, right? Your buddy is over there. He looks down on the man I'm tapping Why before. don't you go and talk to him, okay? Uh what do you mean by she my buddy? Not to hear you. Concentrating on the bird instead. Are you the bartender? I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. Understood. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to read the menu. What does he got? Only the word Monday's written on it. Woman's hand wrote yesterday's menu. Today starts in a man's handwriting. Water cooler. Large bubbles right into the service. What's this? Purr. I'm going to use an HP. So I don't want to die next time I get hit by something. Door is bolted. Kitchen reserve personnel until it's... Anything I can else to highlight right now? But there's money through the window. I can see it. Sign reads, Mess Hall reserved for union members. Union members. Unions. Hey, lady. How's it going? Hello, sweetie. Oh, a cryptozoologist's wife. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. Yeah, you're right. I should talk to my colleague. Before that, let me read my, read my notes. Yeah, I gotta sing... I gotta sing a sad song at the bar. A bespectacled man in an orange bobby is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. I'll shake his hand. He seems like a stand-up fellow. I'm Kim Kisuragi, Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must be from the 41st. You realize he's waiting for your name. Um, invent a name for myself. Concentration makes you squint your eyes. Your name should be deep gold and orange, like a forest fire looming on the horizon, but mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. You're two steps closer to it, but there are still many to go. I don't really know my name. He processes the information, then disregards it. It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? What he means is, he has been trying to meet up with you for two days. <laughs> You've been <laughs> otherwise occupied. 
Uh, yeah, you mean, uh, him. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Know that I'm here <laughs> as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. Maybe full, full force, force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interview? I have not. Okay, we'll have time, time for that after. after we take a look at the coroner's case. <laughs> have you removed the dead body from the tree? No. So, the body is still in the tree. <laughs> this is the first time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice. He would have obvious he would have preferred for the body to no longer be there. The <laughs> Where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. <sighs> what if I told you, ah, uh, do I want to just accept the fact that he believes I'm a cop? Or do I, do I try to, try to walk along and uh, explain the fact that I don't remember who I am? Hmm. Let's just keep going. We can always explain ourselves later. If you're right. about to embark on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? Yeah, I should have a badge, you right? Have a badge. Uh, was it on me when Using I woke your up? Using identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a short wave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I advise you to try to locate it as quickly as possible. But getting the body down should still take precedence. Okay, what is this? Royal pinball machine. Hello again, sweetie. The lieutenant nods politely. Wait, who's sweetie? <laughs> it's us. Her eyes move up and down your person as though taking your measurements. Her attention is scientific. scientific. Why, you are, officer. You're a handsome man, officer, with your mustache and your chiseled jaw and that silly dimple on your chin. You know what? Thank you. Thank you for the compliment, lady. Forgive me. I'm getting so that, I appreciate it. It makes me feel a little bit better when somebody calls me attractive. Myself. I'm Lena. My husband, Morel, and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street, but I come here for tea when they're away. This Lena is wacky enough for the Motley Crew. Hire her on the spot. Uh, what? <laughs> Hire her on the spot? <laughs> you seem to be in a chair. How do you like to roll with me? I don't know if you noticed, but I don't know where I am or what I'm doing or anything. Um, <laughs> I don't want to ask about the chair. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for now. <laughs> Cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna come off as you know incredibly mean. All right, let's talk to the man with the unimpressive beard. Notices you approaching, he drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant, Mister Gart. Right? You run this place. Yes. Which one, sir? I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison Fifty Seven. This is an inter-district investigation, so joining me from Prison 41. What's golden orange like a forest fire, but smells like liquor? Are you kidding me? Uh, Kim was about to say something, right? right. Now, I know it took <laughs> a while to arrive at the scene. It also took you a while to call us and report the dead body. It, it was, was you who placed, placed the, the call. call, yes? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. Okay. He hands it to the you lieutenant. Said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What, Bob Martinez? No. I live in Jamrock, but I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. Hmm. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. Hmm. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need direction. Yes, I know where some things are, but as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. I didn't imply that. Detective. He probably means this is where you step in and ask your questions. 
His face expresses profound doubt in your <laughs> Ask him about the body's location before asking if he killed him. People give up information in the more innocuous question, which you can later use in the more sinister ones, not vice versa. Behind this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. That's easy. See that door there? First you exit through that. Then, to your right, you should see a big hole in the fence. A really big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. No need for the keys. The hole is big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry to fit through. Franco-Nigerian. This man means the, the heavy cavalry of the yes. innocent Franco-Negro, sweeping over the plains yes. and nations of the enemies of mankind. Fifth century style. Unified currency and the concept of cool came in their way. They wore lamella and carried guns. But first and foremost, Franco-Nigerian heavy cavalry was really, really wide. That hole in the <laughs> fence must be enormous. I like my encyclopedia giving me this info. I dig it. She went away because none of your business. Have they not been telling you you're a cop? I am I not a cop? Everything okay, is my business. She went away because of the dead body out back. And because I asked for her number. <laughs> Oops. That's why Sylvie went away. I hope you appreciate that. Thank you. Um. Didn't go well. I asked an employee out. She didn't want to come, but felt obliged to. <laughs> Bad idea. Now, what is so goddamn fascinating about that for you? <sighs> nothing to do with the lynching. The stuff gets on my nerves. I'm a feminist. Or I like to be thorough. Everything has something to do with everything. I guess I like Good to be thorough. Uh, was there something else? Yeah, who killed, who killed him? I'm not the police. This is it. He, he said, said they, they hoisted, hoisted him up. up on a tree. Who is, is this they? they if he, he doesn't, doesn't know. Oh, people are saying it was the Union dock workers. That it was a lynching. Who exactly the saying that? The customers, the people who eat here, a lot of dock workers eat here. Sylvie told me everyone, everyone knows the dock, dock workers. Everyone did. knows the dock workers did, did it. Did the debardeurs themselves tell her this, or is it a rumor? Debardeurs. Debardeurs. I don't know really who that is. You'll have to ask her. The, why would the dock workers would lynch the man? It's because they have nothing better to do. I mean, fair. You mean the strike? Oh, the yes, strike. The strike. The man they hanged was a security guard for the harbor company, I hear. A and mercenary. The unionists probably thought they'd send a message. The lieutenant turns the page in the little notebook. That's all. All right. Not so fast. You owe me 130 real. Uh... What's oh, real? Excuse me. You owe me 130 real. The IIR, or Inter Isoleri Real, is the global reserve currency. Whatever part of the world you're in right now, it's safe to assume he means you owe him some money. Ah, I understand. Wow, you're a genius. Yes, that's right. Money. <laughs> I can just say he's under arrest. Real. Uh, but what exactly you, is philosopher? money? Uh... Actually, I might Money be. Money is what grown-up people use to pay for things. Things like this hostel room, or or eight bottles of poison blend, and nine packs of Royal Extra. We use it for everything, really. Nah. Uh, this yes, money? It is. No, you see, that's 40 cents. Cents are a form of currency <laughs> 100 times smaller than the real. I'm not even going to take this. Come back when you have 130 real. 100 yeah. times smaller? But that's it horrible. Is. Oh. Isn't it evil? The order of magnitude <laughs> between what is asked of a person and what they have. Wow, okay, thanks conceptualization, but I'm going to say darkness rides and pick the coins up. It does, doesn't it? There's a shuffle of nylon. As Lieutenant Kitsuragi looks for something in the pockets of his orange bomber. I'm what happens sorry, now? but he has to pay. I can't let him stay here any longer if he doesn't. 
If he doesn't... Officer, maybe you are better off working this from home for now. You live in Jamrock, right? It's not that far away. Uh... I'll, I'll see what I'm I can sorry, do. I couldn't help more. You should take this up with your station. I have a shortwave radio in my car, okay? <laughs> I probably have, have a wallet somewhere, right? That's what I have to assume. Good luck. Okay. Oh, by the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank, and this place sure isn't it. Do but I you've been even at this hostel have one? For only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. I don't know. You don't really know, do you? I don't know. South Does this mean I'm homeless? Doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. Could I trace? <laughs> Living in the channel care, fuck everything, homo cop? <laughs> can I trace you the way back try. somehow? Run some addresses in your head when you get the time. Maybe a street or an apartment will appear. Uh. Oh. Wow, these are a lot of thoughts. Can internalize temporary search. Pay for damages. Oh, put my badge missing. Okay. Let's uh, look around. Put my door close for winter. Huh. Okay. The theme on that pinball machine is a standard royalist theme. Used on everything from pinball cabinets to, to full flavor flavor cigarettes. cigarettes. What are its hallmarks? To a picture book version of the past century. Waiting for the king to come back and cast out all the profiteers and homosexuals. Basically, imagine a yellow plastic crown with a liquor brand emblazoned on it. Wait, it when comes I free get such a crown. Of Vermilion Roy Dor. The words Roy Dor are stamped into the crown's plastic. The idea of a king in a century gone is pretty fascinating. The sentiment is called anti centennial nostalgia. Oh. Pining for a time before the turn of the century. It's common even now, after wow. 50 years. All right. Cool. All right. Well, let's uh, head outside and go take a look at this body. Oh, I gotta back up. <laughs> Low on morale, put points into volition. Maybe. Maybe just. Dumb. Sign the street letter says, fuck the police. Heap of snow melts in the wheelbarrow. Pigs go home. The RCM in Martinez. What can I help you with? You sound surprised. There are a lot of police around here. That's all. I have some questions for you. What can I help you with? Uh, we need directions. Where to? Uh... Where am I? Do you mean? I'm disoriented. I don't know where I am. District of Martinez. He knows where we are. He just wants direction. <laughs> uh, well, looking for dead body. That. She's relieved someone has come for it. That's all for no now. Problem. What's up with this fuck police business? Oh. Uh, well, I didn't write it there. You didn't say she wrote it. You asked what it was doing there. It's alright, okay. I didn't mean to startle you. Who are you? I am just a gardener. Nice to meet good to meet you, just a gardener. I am pleased to meet you too. I've gotta run. Cool. Nice to nice to meet such a upstanding lady. Hey, there's some oh, what's this? Rue Saint Glissant? Rue de Saint Glissant. I wish I spoke more French so I could read some of these words more. There are bottles inside. You can pick them up if you had a bag. Guess that'd be an easy way to get hobo cop money. Here, can I save the game? Yes, I can. Save. New save. Save. Okay, let's go take a look at this, uh... Smells like spoiled meat and curdled dairy. A human body exposes. Hey, kid. How's it going? Got this. If there 
ever was such a thing as, as an ugly, ugly kid. kid. This is it. This is it. He's almost exquisite in his ugliness, like a gremlin. Uh, one more time, please. Pig. Shit's coming up strong. Throwing rocks. Shit coming up strong. That sounds good. Joyous. You should hang out with this kid and see what that juicy shit is all about. All right. I mean drugs. The kid's on drugs. Oh. Kuno, ride the lightning, Kuno. <laughs> Kuno S. Kuno's riding it, see. The rake, Kuno. The fuck does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno is not a gardener. <laughs> Kid, wanna hang no, out? No, I'm not Kuno a narc. Buy that shit. Fucking entrapment shit. Hey Kim, what should we do? We shouldn't do anything. I don't tempt <laughs> such forces. forces. What forces? I will see. The these kids are using pure unfettered id. There will be no. There will be no reasoning with those creatures. You know what? Fair enough. All right. Um, hey, what's in the... Yeah, who's this? Yeah, that kid's that one. Letter R in crown. Light above descending. Logo of the municipality of Rivercoal. This trash container is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says, whirling in rags. The body is downwind from here. Maybe you prefer the smell of garbage to the smell of death. We could try using a pry bar. There's one in my motor carriage, or... Or... We could ask for a key from the manager of the world. He might also have information. Yeah. Yeah, talking to people's better than just breaking shit. Right? Oh, hey, we got, uh, footprints? Looks like... There are several footprints in the mud, left by work boots. Anywhere from 6 to 12 pairs have walked here. Kind of work boots. Maybe more than twelve. No, eight, eight pairs, pairs of boots. boots have shuffled back and forth in the mud. Go over them one, one by one. Standard work boots. Steel reinforced toes. No. Number forty-six. Two. Standard, standard work, work boots. Boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number forty-four. Three. Hobnailed work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Okay. Number forty-three. Four. Standard work boot. Number forty-five. Or 46? Wait, you which don't is it? know. It's a miracle you can tell the prince <laughs> apart as it is. Alright. Five. Another, another standard, standard work boot. Number 44. Steel reinforced toes. It's number 44. Okay, so we've got two number 44 standards. Six. Number 46. Aberration. Light as air. Oh. Even pace. Same make of boot, but number 41. 41 will be smaller. So we've got a few different sizes, male or female. Impossible to tell. Could also have been an adolescent. The gait is undeveloped. I'm pretty good at this, ain't I? Bad. It's as if the whole, whole world, world darkens. Everything. Everything else has a thin film of unimportance on it. And the tracks burn in the middle of it in a strange, beautiful way. Seven. The glowing outline of a standard work boot. Number 46. But the imprints are twice as deep as the others. The weight exceeds... 200 kilograms. So one person was carrying the body. Eight. And yet another standard work boot. Number 44. There's an aberration in the pattern of the sole, however. The right sole is smoother. More worn. How many? Eight. I was pretty off then. I counted 20. The same price I never got back and forth. Hyperopia. Do you see anything out of the ordinary? Uh, light Woman, step, number 41. Uh, don't bring any weights here, sir. Anything else? A heavy 200? one. 200? Could it be the combined weight yeah. of two people, one carrying the other who's tied up? Let's say yeah. a heavily built worker carrying a similarly built, soon to be dead man. Mm -hmm. He might be right. 200 kilograms of living weight is unlikely. One of them was carrying him Possibly. over. Possibly, yes. But why? Why do they have to carry yes. him? They could have used the makeshift stretcher or just march him up to the gallows. Uh, Victim wasn't conscious. Even easier to carry on a stretcher or between uh, two men. Yeah. 
Anyway, it's for future consideration. An aberration. Whatever One soul is here is smoother than the other. Let's name it the old soul. Do you have any so ideas? Someone operating a workbench with a pedal? Like a joiner at the harbor. Or maybe a drummer? Uh, what people are you looking know, for is a drummer? Forget I said it. We are not looking for a drummer. Perhaps it could be a driver. The driver would wear out the right shoe before the <laughs> left. The accelerator is on the right. Not we should keep yeah. our eyes open around the traffic jam. See whether anyone strikes out as a potential suspect. Seems prudent, no? Yeah, prudent. Mm -hmm. I like that word. Okay, um, how old are these tracks are, man? Maybe. Seven days would fit the time frame provided to us by yeah. the caller. It is not impossible. How do I, I know? Last week's forecast for coastal Seven, Seven days, days below, below freezing. freezing. The day before, the day of his hanging, was the last one day. So that means all the snow would have melted and made the mud, so they would have tracked their feet in here and frozen it Correct. afterwards. Okay. Sub-zero temperatures would preserve the tracks in a good state. The commotion here... What do I think? A mob of people brought something heavy to the tree. One of them was carrying the victim. They shuffled, they shuffled around. around. Then, after hoisting him up, they stood in a semicircle facing his direction. At first glance, this appears to be a lynching. Indeed. Yeah. They all stood in a row here and looked, looked at, at the, the tree. tree. Yes, everything it fits, fits so, so well. well. Carried him over, hoisted him up, watched him hang. This and is easy. I think we have a firm understanding the of what happened here. Eyes narrow. Either way, what else? Uh, I think we've been through it all here. I'm going to check the body out last. Let's take a look around, huh? It's a winch mechanism. There's a door here that's all boarded up. Conspicuous pile of the roofing material eat tonight. What is it's this? It's nothing. Somewhat glad you asked. When junior researcher Olari Tal invented the tea tonight in the Vatna Polytechnic Institute some thirty odd years ago, he thought it would last forever. Hence the name E tonight. Sadly, the only lasting thing turned out to be the material's highly carcinogenic effect. Why am I looking at this pile of roof material? Because it's nice and orderly. Well laid palette. Easy on the eyes. Rhythmic pattern. Calms your mind. Okay, cool. Good to know. Um, let's take a look at what's down here. Huh? Oh, I can't get in there unless I open the door, which I don't even know is a door yet. Okay, good to know. What's this? It's a box? Oh. Thank you. Someone's trying to grow herbs in the greenhouse. It's rickety, but still climbable. The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready, ready to, to burst. burst. His lips are fish-like and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. You seem to be holding your breath. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in even through your clenched nostrils. God, what is that? Why it's so bad? It's okay to throw up, officer. He's about to blow! Cop's gonna blow, Kuno! No. I'll just look look for a sec somewhere else. Oh, 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 hold up. I got a indicator somewhere around here. Ladders for kids won't hold the grade of a, lo of a grown man. Well, then how did they get it up here? There he still is. Okay, Looking fine. Right through you. With his white eye, the oh. smell is repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth, more instant and more familiar than anything you. I try to walk away. Oh God. Yeah. Oh. Ugh. Too late. It's impossible to keep in until a pool of vomit lies under your feet. I'm sorry. It's okay. Happens to everyone. The hangover is clearly making this worse for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. Okay, where are you ammonia There from? is spritz nearby, east of the hostel. They usually have a small apothecary. If they don't... <laughs> there's a greenhouse here, and a gardener with a wheelbarrow on the corner of the rolling in rags. If she works here, she might have something for the smell. Hmm. Pretty clever. Hmm, we gotta get-
get this body down somehow. Here, let's grab some ammonia, and then we can come back to get near the body. Oh, cool. He gave me some braver things. Body. Trash container. Yeah, let's go talk to the guy about the trash container and go get that ammonia. Seems like a good plan. Okay, let me in. Shorten money. Get plastic bag, collect bottles and sell more fruit. Yeah, fair enough, that would work. Can I help you? Mine? No, it belongs to the whirling in rags. Thank you for clearing the debt. Why? To keep the hobos and drunks out. That's why. I thought as much. And well, yes. Yes, Us and, and the, garbage the garbage disposal, disposal company. Okay. It seems a little callous, doesn't it? Something stirs in you. I wonder what this feeling is. Product him and find out. Does it ever seem callous to you? Guarding your leftovers from callous? the poor? What are you? Class Mazov? Almost all establishments in Revisholt keep their trash locked. The whirling in rags is not special in that regard. Krasmazov, nom de guerre, was an economist and a historical materialist. He was a leading figure on the graph side of the Centennial Revolution, where he headed the nine-day government. The nine-day or the eleven-day? The father of scientific communism, Mazovian thought, or Mazovianism. Yum yum, he tell me more. Himself. Maybe what I am Karazmov. Was this not about the trash container? What if I am Karazmov? <laughs> Alright, we need those keys. Mazov, are you planning to nationalize my trash container? <laughs> this concerns the case. Yes. Please cooperate. Just bring them back once you're done, please. Okay. Uh what thing? I heard it's uh, Gart, I saw a sign that can go to the kitchen. Yes, not the whole damn thing. Thank God. God. It's just the nastiest. They come here in the, the evenings. evenings. Dumb, unruly types. Think they're big shit. But they're good customers. They and always orders, pay on. And always pay on time. We should find out who this Lord Faction is. Occupy in the booth. Loudness means talkative. And we don't. We have to wait. They'll yeah. show up soon enough. There are these things called days. You sleep between them. He's saying they come after you've slept. Just make it clear you've got that. Ah, uh, that's What sign. are you, a cook now? That's none of your business. Okay. He wasn't pan fried, he was lynched. What could the kitchen. Fine, okay. The kitchen is closed until 1 pm. Okay. What? By All the right. way, you should come back to this thing based questionnaire if you see anything interesting in the world. Okay, goodbye. I will talk about things later. Thank you, Brain. No clues in the union box. Good to know. Okay, out we go. Alright, let's go talk to the gardener and ask about some ammonia. Hey, gardener. Hello again, officer. Sure, I'm done with it. Go easy thank you. on that stuff. It gave me a terrible headache. Alright, thank you so much. That was just... Alright, cool. Ammonia. Huh, this is St. Bestiste. Pharmaceuticals. Okay, well. We could have gone and bought it, but instead we uh, just got some. Okay. There, he still is. Looking. No, I need to use the ammonia somehow? I don't know how to use it. Yeah. Uh, internalize? Oh. Okay. Um...
have to put it in my hand. Combine it. Um, what do I do? Wait, let me save the game. We interact with the body, and then we can see about, uh... There he still is. Yeah. Looking right through you with his white eyes. The body below. The ammonia only makes it worse. The combination... The second time, not so much. Oops. When the vomiting is done, your cheeks are wet with tears. Wow. Man, this is fucking me up, apparently. Uh... Ammonia didn't help at all. How does the wind right? I've seen strong men turn themselves inside out for hours. You are facing tough odds here. Alcohol withdrawal makes it considerably harder. Why can't I keep in if I've been a cop my whole life? I've seen captains puke their guts out. It never gets easier. You never get used to the smell. Every Monday, then drive to the station. Maybe throw up on the way there if you didn't bag the thing tightly. I think fine. I've lost my sense of smell. Oh, oh what lie. Not being hungover helps too. Uh, leave something else. I want. I want to solve something probably else. Probably a good idea. Clear our head. But before we can do that, you need to get your shit together. Ah, uh, okay. We should go talk to the locals. Find something else to do while the wind <laughs> changes. It's pretty bad right now. Give it half an hour. Get yourself together. Then come back. Okay. We'll come back later, but. We're going to have to do this volumetric shit compressor. Thought. Your shit is apart. And it's rather unbecoming of a cop and a human being. It's supposed to be the opposite of that. Together. Compressed in a small area. To achieve a solid level of shit compression, squeeze your butt cheeks together for 30 minutes. Do something similar to the two hemispheres of your brain. Talk to people. Maybe that'll help. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's faff about. Let's go over to that uh, that store you told me about. Maybe I can get a plastic bag and start picking up cans and pay my debt. Oh hey, is this the car? Or is this his, his um station wheel? Before you stands a motor carriage. The bodywork is covered in blue and a capri canema bearing the number fifty-seven. Vapor emanates from the large engine on the back of the vehicle. This must be the infernal machine. That toy in the cabin. You are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull-out toolbox under the seat, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. The frequency tableau lights up, and the green button labeled Prime Line glows like a feline eye. The soft purr of electrical kittens, radio waves cast far and wide over the metropolis. A woman's voice greets you through the static. This is Precinct 57. Hello, Lieutenant. How may I assist you? Hello, Alice. Please assist our colleague from the 41st Precinct here. I'm putting him on. This is Officer Alice Demetri, Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Just a second, Officer. Then two, then five. This is 41st. Come in. The man uses relay code. You got this. You're a cop. And cops know relay code. Yeah, see? Ten four message received. Ten five relay message. What's your status? Over. Ten eighteen. State your message, sir. Ten nine. Over. Ten four message received. This is uh, him. What does he want? Says he lost his badge and needs to report it. <laughs> he what? He lost his badge. Who lost his badge? Dick fucking Mullen. Who do you think? It's off of the Dick Mullen from the bestseller Dick Mullen and the Lost Identity. Dick Mullen is not your name. It's the name of a fictional detective oh, who will not, not lose, lose his, badge. his badge. Defend yourself. Immediately. They're laughing at you. Huh. I hear you, officer. I'm just going to make a note here that you are in pursuit of your... Fuck me! 
Back. Come in. What's going on? Who's the copy I lost his badge. badge. He lost his what now? His badge. He lost his goddamn fucking badge. Enough with this Denying now. Come I again. I get this get that. Over. New heights even ask him. <laughs> Sergeant Orson wants to check your pockets. Check your holy fuck. You don't know where it is, do you? Oh god, okay. it's not here. It's gone. Your gun, gun is, is most, most definitely, definitely gone. gone. Okay. Nine, you get my question? We were wondering about your gun. Over. Even before you can get the words out, everything gets scrambled in your brain. He says he didn't lose his gun. Or his fun, whatever that means. Ask him to describe it. Satellite officer McLean requests a description of your weapon. Over. It's a gun, what can I say? You know, a regular goddamn murder weapon. You know what they are. Bang, bang. Sounds like it's being delivered. Detective Mullen has done it again. Dear God, he lost his gun. This isn't really a laughing matter. Mac can face a giant of Coco Nur by himself. But this go in, I am bad. <laughs> oh, I, I can't. I'm not going to ask him. <laughs> Sergeant Orson here is wondering if you are still in possession of your genitalia. Over. <laughs> yes, I lost my wiener too. Left him in his mama's after he fucked her ass. That's a negative. What's he saying? Chef. He, uh, he said he. The prick ate mama's vanilla waffles at the captain's birthday party. Some nerve he's got. Sure, a vanilla waffles are the only thing he ate? <laughs> Shut up, Chester. This isn't funny. This is my mom we're talking about. Tell him to apologize. <clears throat> Sergeant Orson requests that you apologize for the claims that you made about his mother. Over. He says he's sorry and... Okay. Tell, Tell him to find his goddamn bed and <laughs> That's the only thing that matters. Yes, here. I like it. Okay. Satellite officer... I'm on it. Affirmative. Officer in pursuit. Oh God, I. Officer, do you need further assistance? Over. Send for. I hear you. What does he want? He's asking for money. <laughs> is he fucking kidding? I don't think he is. Don't give that asshole anything. Right. Uh, that's a negative on the additional funds, sir. Over. <sighs> he says he's in trouble. Well, I guess it better. <coughs> Uh, all right, no fun. No. Uh, standing by. Okay. Tap on the fuse. As you tap on the gauge, the indicator pin jerks as if startled. It's in the large orange okay. sector, indicating the engine is warm. All right. Next. There's no use pressing the heat button. Translation: We're not going anywhere right now. Alternative translation. Don't even don't th even think you can drive my MC. The metallic drawer slides out from under the seat and clicks into. Take what you need, officer. It's going to be a long case. I'm not protective of my tools like some men are. He's clearly a little protective of his tools, but what can you do? The pry bar feels nice and cold in your hand, useful for opening all sorts of doors and lids. The handles are long and sleek. Snap, snap, though the cutter's in your hand. It's robust, weatherproof, and well-made. Police issue, blue, lets you see things in the dark you would otherwise <laughs> miss. The pull-out toolbox slides. The white suede feels luxurious mm -hmm. under the touch. Okay. And we're good. We collected some gear. Volumetric chip compressor. All right. I've compressed my shit. I've got my shit together. Bizarre scientific news from Rivershall West today, where a police officer's <laughs> shit has been observed <laughs> at a pressure of around 495 gigadecimals. <laughs> These metallic hydrogen levels of shit togetherness were thought to exist only at the center of collapsing stars, not law officials. It remains to be seen how long the shit singularity lasts. Oof, okay, well. That's cool, I guess. Cool, I like it. Let's go take a look at, uh... 
for you. You part of the union? I am a gander and a hunter and a gatherer. Feel like a traveler. A simple little cadence. He seems to be making it up as he goes. From another planet. What's the jam, my man? What's the, the jam? traffic jam for the ages? Harbor gates up the street are shut tight. No explanation given. Workers on strike, scabs agitating. All around clusterfuck. Meanwhile, we're all stuck here in long haul limbo for days upon days upon days. Limbo, huh? Yeah. That's where I yeah, am. Yeah, exactly. It's official. He too agrees. This is the antechamber <laughs> of the afterlife. Feels like forever. Like I was born on this here roundabout and this was all I ever knew. Just me and the metal and the tires, the oil and the fumes of mazout. Mazout is an antiquated term for heavy fuel oils. This man has a barely suppressed performative streak. Or he just likes unusual words. Or both. Extravagantly phrased, but I can roll yeah, with it. Yeah, imagine. It's been a whole week already. So tell me, what do you need? Don't work like, the strike. Whatever's going on over at the docks. Workers got a blockade set up, making demands. No way in or out. What is the union demanding? Some pretty wild stuff, I hear. Like a giant new power crane in half the company? I forget what exactly. Good on them, I guess. I've heard talk there's a company, company rep in town, town, too. I guess. Like strike a strike negotiator type. They'd know what's up. All right. Ah, yes. From the Wild Pines. We'll meet her soon enough, I'm sure. What do you they want to keep that money flowing in, my man. ka -ching. He doesn't blame them, but he's not on their side. Anything else? Yeah, this ain't really my area of expertise. Us lorry drivers. Cam, your nurse. You, you still hang, hang around here waiting for this mess, mess to end. Huh? Most have scurried off somewhere <laughs> to get drunk or high. Or laid. Not, Not my you. thing. Chasing transient pleasures is a drag these days. I prefer the examined life now. Thinking, reflecting, observing. What are you hauling uh, anyway? High grade narcotics, illegal firearms, stuff like that. Relax. He's merely joking. Wicked. Ha, I want no, a friend of the I'm underworld. joking, my man. <laughs> Found runs a nice clean business. This haul of cargo is mostly sporting goods. You know, they usually get shipped to Grad and the Oxy. Though we've been making headway in the Il Moran market lately. So that's this rock and beauty machine behind you? Yeah. Sure is. Like a rash you can't get rid of. You interested in heavy duty cargo machinery? A motor lorry, also called a camion, on Caillou and neighboring islands. This one looks roughed up enough to be some sort of found rust bucket. Maybe the A6? Is that a found Good A6 I am, got man. there? Yup, she's an old one, but reliable. Me and her spent a long time together. Can I get one of those tracks? But I can't just <laughs> really <laughs> ah, hand out the merchandise. The bosses won't be happy. Right, the man. Taps his fingers. Rhythmically. You know anything about the drive back there? I know that. All Not the counter driver. Otherwise, I haven't really asked about that. Been wasting time right here. Keep him busy. It's easy to see he's telling the truth. He's kept his nose out of the dark stuff. All the right. man taps his fingers rhythmically okay. against. Don't be a stranger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Prison glory filed haphazardly. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to fall down and break my ankle off that flatbed or something. I'll take a look down over here and see what's on this way. It's increased atomic force. Track the A. Here we go. Tire tracks. The range almost washed them off. Weird tree, huh? Ancient fountain. There's a tree in it. How's it going, old dude? Doesn't need to be a struggle. I'll be with you in a moment, officer. Let me just finish my sandwich. All right, okay. Have you no shame? Whining about your back every time you bring out the measuring tape. Rene, 
You are a man with a fork in a world of soup. <laughs> Please, let's just try to enjoy the game, all right? I'm trying to, but you keep breaking my concentration. You're old. I can see that. We're both old. Now stop grabbing your ass like it's a girl. These manly men are playing balls. This is a ball game. Grab a ball and play it. <laughs> Don't ask questions. <laughs> Shoot first. Ask questions <laughs> never. Shouldn't I ask no, what game it is got first? There's the ball. You're the game. Uh, 10. 2d6 plus 2. I, I gotta watch See? them first. You're munching and complaining. A bruin. Ah, mon dieu. The pain in my back is unbearable. I can't even say if it's in my back or hip anymore. Feels like it's in both. He tries to measure the throw. I hope you pass out from it. You goddamn <laughs> jellyfish. <laughs> Maybe like you are the reason this nation is sinking. Trying to throw something as close to a predetermined point as possible. Measuring. This must be the age old game of Patank. Patank. Shush. Ignore them. They don't know what they're doing. They're old. You are letting down yourself and the team. Get in the damn game already. <laughs> Wait, what Doesn't team? Doesn't matter what team. Pick a team. Any team. The blue team. You're letting them down. Get in the game and throw the goddamn ball. Why are you so I mean to me? Ball, dinky winky. <laughs> uh, I lose points if I know the game is Pythonique. Hey. Sure, I am Rene. Rene Arnie. And my specially abled partner, partner here is Gaston Martin. How can we help you? Unfortunately, I don't. And like most of the locals, I have no qualms about assisting law enforcement. But this affair has passed me by completely. And most of the locals? In Martinez, the union is the law. So can you really blame them? But you don't have a problem with the cop. Stop is a pejorative term. I don't have a problem, this policeman. On the contrary. I admire the effort to bring order to our streets. He doesn't know about the crime. Your time is better spent discussing politics. What about police I'm woman? I am confident they are indispensable in regard to all the paperwork and other administrative duties. Uh, you know what? No, there are no duties RCM woman couldn't but carry But you must out. agree that nature, in her infinite wisdom, has made men more fit to perform certain more challenging tasks. Don't you? No, I don't officer? think there's any evolutionary equality at play here. Officer. Match an average woman against an average man in a dark alley and see who comes out on top. Gender equality is a very noble, very modern idea. But in real life, primal roles prevail. <laughs> you seem to be playing yes. in a crater. The terrain here provides an interesting variety to a familiar game. You know what created it? Fire from heavy artillery. So it's a crater left by artillery fire, fire but why? Because heavy artillery use. Communists hijack your country, execute your supreme leadership, and turn your capital into a slaughterhouse. You use heavy ordnance to clean up your home. Did you use a heavy Sadly fire no. against them? It was the foreigners who brought them to their knees. We fought valiantly, too valiantly, so valiantly we got licked. He sat, squeezing a ball in his fist. Should have fought dirty. Like they did with this suicide sex cult propaganda <laughs> and mad anarchist okay. women. Okay, wow. We didn't so, and we lacked caliber. God bless him, but the suzerain's cannon simply weren't big enough. It was probably a bit more complicated than that. Why shall them hear me? <laughs> I understand, I'd bomb this place too. Why shall them hear in much Because this place is a damn beachhead. Had to, soften. had to soften the commies. Yes. The beach the military head. coordinated amphibious landing to take back Rev. Martinez was used as one of the three footholds in Revelshell during Operation Deathblow in 08. The other two are off in Stella Maris and the Delta. This here is blood the ground. ground. Their coalition see. boots first made landfall and cleaned mm, those rabbit dogs. Okay. Most likely, we played betonk of their mangled corpses. Blood ground. You got all grenade going there. Like he isn't hangry enough already. <laughs> Hold on, coalition? Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, officer. Mm. I hate those foreign dogs, but uh, 
the enemy of my enemy and all that. They're the lesser evil. Guess that explains all the war damage. Son. They laid the fire of hell on the city before they stormed it. The rest of the city got cleaned up, but nothing else they mm. keep as a monument. Well, it's your mm, home damn, damn fault. fault. You, we, the coalition. Never finished the job. If it's the party, shit. never surrender. Of course, they still You don't influence. even begin to truly understand the players of the, the table. table, let alone the specific circumstances around. Thinking men have opinions on these things. What's that one? one? That's how it should be. Soft socialists paving the way for the hard working class to take over. Foreign powers cleaned up our own mess and now they rule us. The coalition seems quite capable, actually. Commies just own just standard money. Like, nothing, I don't think I just do. You know what? The fact that foreign powers are the ones that have to wipe us out kind of feels bad. After eight years of fighting those hyenas, boiling cats for food and drinking piss in the mouth, I would have preferred if the right honorable King Guillaume returned to Revachal. Or even if that damn clan Quissel had risen from this instead, all of that is just and holy and beautiful in the world. <laughs> now it's just toothpaste right away, and now it's neon signs with toothpaste. But this is just what the commies wanted. This was their plan all along. This is what they wanted to replace the role of the suzerain with. You mentioned Two Guillaume? kings in both blood and mind. Let whoever oh, shall be for Quissel. Mm, okay. He would have been better, but the damn commies drove him into exile. Some manner of self-deceit is present in his thinking. Sounds like, Sounds this. like this Guillaume abandoned him. Who was Fessel? He was the king. He was the king we couldn't protect. The Carabineers failed him and the crown. He died in the hands of the Hyperlay in a very public execution. The suzerain is the king. Has everyone forgotten already? They've forgotten already. It's no use talking to you. You were still in Daddy's borders when it happened. When we took our last stand against the fifth and rode the cavalry straight into gunfire. What is about the old soldier that makes all him so you proud? observe is a veteran refusing to let go of the past and his old uniform. This is the uniform of the Royal Carabineers in service of Quissel the First, Guillaume Le Lion, and the Lion King Philip the Fifth before him. Don't you mean Fristel the Fan? <laughs> you do not speak his name. <laughs> Craven, oh, though he was a clown. clown, but he was our clown, <laughs> ours to ridicule and to mourn. There's something you missed. You will get to it. Well, thank you for your time, old man. I appreciate it. It was really cool learning about the world, actually. Yeah, what's up with this? Clean up with banged up and operable. Uh, hey, who are you? You a Hello, child? Sir. Step right in. The store is open. Whoa. Are you interested in a new and exciting book? What kind of store it's is a it? bookstore, sir. We sell books, postcards, and some board games. It's called Crime, Romance, and Biographies of Famous People. <laughs> books? Postcards? Easy. <laughs> Even a kid would know all of this. <laughs> I could start lecturing her. Yeah, look, I know what books is. Books are like uh, very long letters with stories yes, inside them. That's exactly it. I also know what a postcard is. It's a small cardboard picture you can send to a friend or loved one. You got it, sir. What about board games? I like, uh, the police don't okay, have time sir. for games. This was all very enlightening. Is it okay if okay, I ask sir. you some questions? I'll try to answer any questions you have. I hope they're about books. My name what is, is your Vanessa. name? My mum. Her name is Plaisance. She owns the store. She's inside minding the register or organizing the stock. Feel free to step in and browse our wares. And you're standing in the gold because the store is open. Otherwise, people might not know. They'd miss out on the crime, romance, and both <laughs> famous people. <laughs> I could help by brutally dismantling the free market. No, she's doing a good job, little kid. I'm happy to help mom out with the store. But shouldn't you be in school or something? At home at the moment. I have to help mom keep this place running. What is school, school? anyway? Well, mine is a big yellow building on Boogie Street, and the people there run it. They say it's a charity. Isn't going to school Mom more important than this? To do both because it builds character. M How's Mom the says it's going? peachy. She was a little afraid at first. There's talk about this house being cursed. Cursed, cursed in, in what a way, way? That makes them say that no business has ever really thrived here, sir. That they all go bankrupt. Exactly. But we've been doing fine so far. That sounds rather serious. We, we can go into the bookstore and ask about the case. But I don't see. Yes. Please do also 
also look at our wares inside. The postcards and board games are there, sir. Where are the other fell businesses? Me, Mum doesn't allow me to sneak around in the back rooms or the cellar. How does this curse it does manifest not itself? Manifest itself in any way. It does not exist. I liked it better when we were talking about whether it's appropriate to stand out in the freezing weather. <laughs> uh, but Kim, the no plasmic manifestations. Uh, oh. Anything else you wanted to talk about, sir? Enough <laughs> with I have the curse to tell for now. You about some of our books instead. What's this crime Our business? It's about murders or burglaries or things like that. And the work of a policeman or a private detective who's trying to solve a crime and catch Wait, a criminal. Wait, not criminal. You wouldn't know what crime is. Okay, I get it. Crime murder mm -hmm. gets and the it's people like going. A puzzle too. You can guess who the criminal is. You don't look much right. like a policeman. Okay, well, what does a cop you look like? To offend, sir. Sorry, sir. It's just that you don't look like Dick Mullen. Ah. Uh. <laughs> wow. Look at the guy. I'll never don't be as good as Mullins. That. He's not even real. You're real. Overshadowed by a fake man? That's harsh. Cheer up, sir. <laughs> it's much easier being a fictional character. He doesn't have to deal with real things. Maybe you can show me some real deductive police work, sir. Okay. Like in the books. Okay. Alright. Sure. Okay, I'm gonna deduce something now. You fail to deduce. Oh. She waits intensely. Oh, I'm actually, it's I'm sorry, okay, I can't sir. deduce anything. <laughs> you disappointed a small child. Oh no, I took damage! <laughs> All right, what is romance? Where there's a rich lady, <laughs> and she has to choose between the good man and the bad man. Or there could be a story about a poor lady getting a rich man. It's about man and lady business, sir. What about a poor man it getting a rich lady? But usually the guy gets rich in the process. Or should actually be rich himself, but has lost his family property unjustly. Those are unhappy books for most of the pages. People sad about what they have lost. But then it all turns out just fine in the end. What about when both These the men are, are bad? Common. You can't have a choice between bad and bad. What if it's written well, really well? Maybe then it's fine. <laughs> maybe if the lady then decides not to pick either, because she doesn't need a bad man. What yeah, about when everyone is That's poor? That's really not a proper romance story. That's more like everyday life. <laughs> yeah, poor people are yeah, boring. <laughs> yeah, people in books are always very interesting, especially the romance uh, people. What about a man and lady business? I haven't read many of those. Maybe you should ask mum. Eh. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mm, poke that sure first hornet's out. nest there. Anything else you're maybe uh, Tell me about these oh, famous people. Kings and queens and generals of old, or artists and writers, or musicians. Those kinds of people. I think that's why people read them. Seems like most people who read those books fail to get more famous from reading them. But it does make the famous people more famous. Fame, fame does sound delicious. Maybe someone will write a why book about me that, one day. Sir? Because I'll be a superstar cop. That's so cool. Maybe they'll make you a book cover picture and everything. Standing over a dead body. Holding okay. a gun. Hold up. Composure. If I upgraded composure, I could maybe even get better. What does composure do? I don't know. I want to level up. Can I level up encyclopedia? I don't know. Okay, let's try to, let's try to do something. The yeah, I did it. Her hands folded, hidden. Why is that? What do you mean, sir? You don't need to be worried. She looks around I'm here to help. Her hands remain folded. This is uh, Disco Elysium. She doesn't want to show them. We are investigating what appears to be a uh, child abuse case. The lieutenant stands by, looking at the two of you with little interest. It's okay. She brings out her reddened hands, her nails frayed. Nearly chewed down to the flesh. And you knew this from me keeping my hands folded. And there were a few well, other hands. That proves nothing. Anyone could do an easy deduction like that. But I can figure out why you bite your nails. She nods, half provocative, half enthusiastic. Um, uh child rats with your fingers? No, it's because you the pressure Maybe from your mother. So, sir. Okay, I know it's a bad habit, and I shouldn't. I hope it's entertaining okay, you. Sir. This one okay. that we achieved here. All right. Let's go to do the same. Yeah, you think so? Do something about me. Oof. Ouch. <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> he does not flinch even a single bit. He is intensely not flinching. 
It takes effort. <laughs> Wait. Because you, you know usually are. Oh. I'm not having a great time. There she stands, swaying on her feet. Okay. There's something you're missing. I'm gonna heal myself before I try this, because if I fail, I just die, I'm pretty sure. Because oh, I got it. it. She's been talking to you so openly because you've talked before. Oh, hang on, yeah, we've yes, met before. I stand in this spot all the time. Hi there, Willy. We're uh, doing some Disco Elysium tonight. You've been running around all week without your shirt on, sir. Telling people about being a star or something. I don't really understand who those stars are. But of course, you. you've stopped by a few times. You certainly look better than the last time I saw you. Thanks, I'm yeah, trying. Yeah, I can see. You don't have party eyes anymore. Party eyes. Yes, of course. That makes sense. Party you know, eyes. Like a cat in the dark. All big and wide-eyed. <laughs> it certainly looks odd on a man. The swiveling eyes of a loony drug addict. That is what she meant. Oops. You were probably <laughs> too. So we're playing as a character who has completely forgotten everything that happened before a apparent three-day binger. Fuck yeah. You should get some party eyes right now. Snap those sequins on you, boy. Does this mean I've been partaking in oh, baby, narcotics? That's not what you have to worry about. Worry about the important thing. Thanks. I've learned something about myself you, today. Sir. Okay. See you around the net. Very muscular man turned by flames. Man from Heimdall and Wildfire. Half naked Dane. All right, we're reading all these for Pate. Book, or is it important? The day of culture. Okay. Um, let's take a look at my gear. I ended up using out my put this. To discover secret orbs. Here's some lucky orbs. Um, okay. Map. The hanged man. Yeah, let's go back to the. Let's level up my endurance. Um, yeah, that sounds like a good call. And let's go take a look at, um, the body again. So Love Like Endurance gave me an extra hit point, so maybe we'll get the body down now if I, uh, if I crack her open. That's my chance, huh? There, he still is. Looking okay, right. my shit's compressed and I've got good With endurance. Eyes, Let's the give it a shot. Below is entirely dedicated to that <laughs> smell, emitting it is, as you yes. in, the odor comes over you. It's a smell of the mind, mind that tells you to run. run, and your stomach to ring itself empty. With your hands at your sides and your eyes squinting, you stand in it. Continue. It's a puzzle. What's hanging in front of you? is a puzzle of decaying flesh, tattoos, and tendons. Did you after seven days? Yes. We are deep in decomposition here. The man before you is naked, but for a pair of underpants and enamel boots. His skin is greenish, marbled with decaying veins, and blotched by lividity. A fading web of tattoos covers his chest and shoulders. The cargo belt used to fasten him to the branch above appears industrial in strength. Inspect the, the boots. material appears to be ceramic. Its clean white stands in stark contrast to the decaying flesh above the knee. The man wore thick polymer socks, probably for padding. A fine array of interlocking plates covers them, delicate and fragile. They feel alien to the world around you, out of place somehow. These are clearly not boots. They're armor. Possibly part of a larger set. Indeed. Technically speaking, these are sabatons, not boots. Oh, the lieutenant uses a memo technique A6. That's not just any notebook. It's a classic. It's all you, baby. What kind of armor? Armor plate. Zirconium dioxide, most likely. This is where the make would be. Under the heel. Fairweather. Fairweather model T500VE. I'm guessing that's vitreous enamel. This is advanced stuff. That the locals probably scavenged it. 
It would be odd if he had. We should keep a lookout for these pieces. The yeah. armor could yield information. The sabatons dangle them okay. off the material. That looks like a place it's here. Expensive. It's expensive material. Okay. We've requested similar material for our tactical units for years now. Oof. The constabulary is deep. Must be talking our full here. set, about four years of wages. For the northwest region of Revachol, an officer's average yearly income is 5,500 real. Wait. Unadjusted for rent. My yearly Not place. too much, yes. Yeah. Huh. Sounds puny. It's a sorry situation, I agree. How could this man have afforded such expensive out. hardware? Mr. Gart implied he was security personnel for the harbor company. This confirms my own assumptions. He's a pretty advanced for security guard. This equipment is way beyond what a guard can afford. Knock a small bell-like sound fills the air. Sounds Same fragile. Thing, this material is a kinetic redistributor. It spreads kinetic energy horizontally Ooh, that sounds from cool. plate to plate, dissipating it entirely. See? Faint organic lines cover the plates where they separate mm -hmm. into smaller ones. These That's really plates cool. like whirls of floorboards. The design looks organic, influenced by highly resistant wood materials like lignum vitae and ebony, perhaps. What does this remind me of? of porcelain, this is what their cross sections would look like. The smooth, glossy surface fractures mm -hmm. into ever more intricate interconnections, peaking on the right sabaton. We know this. The worlds are in the shape of a letter and number combination. E50, 100, 1000. Good. Can you read it to me? X54156745678. <laughs> What's a lie? No. Let's lie. We have a make and a number. I'm not gonna lie to my cop partner. We can use the radio in my kimena when we're done. The stench fills your mouth. Stop! Thank you. Oh, this is a bad idea, isn't it? You're going to pull his head off. Do it, Heimlein! Uh, do what? Pull his head off. There's no point performing an... Indeed. From this angle, it does look like the neck isn't going to take much more. What are you trying to achieve, anyway? Why are you hanging on to that boot? Um... I don't even want to take him off. I just thought I should try. Like, to be honest, I'm going to be honest here. I didn't even think about any of these. Try what exactly? If you can't experiment, how will you learn? <laughs> I wanted to do things, you know, get an exploratory jive going. But even s there's no way you're getting them off. All the organic matter in his body. There might still be a way to peel them off, but first the body needs to be down, and second, it would probably be better if the lieutenant. Was I'm gonna refuse for honor. All right then, you can pay the hostel bill. In honor points. How many honor points have you collected? There are honor points? Of course there aren't. Oh. Don't be naive. <laughs> okay. Got it. Processing will take care of that. With the yeah. situation in the morgue, it will yield okay. nothing. Okay, look at the, the cards. The slowly twists on the cargo belt. The hangman's knot What's is the belt tight doing? by the weight of the corpse below. Yellow, hard-edged polyester. Cut. This is a steel-reinforced cargo lashing belt. Big brother of the regular cargo belt. It's used for tying cargo under six rotor airships. Don't ask me how I know, but this is a lashing belt used Everything. for airlifting cargo. I thought it was used on Nori for strapping cargo to them. And apparently, this is the reinforced kind for air transport. My uh, my brain the tells me so. Uses six rotors to shuttle <laughs> containers around. I get the sense they use whatever was on hand without paying much attention to not incriminating themselves. Yeah. So, how did they get them up there? It's one of those things that's easier to use one way around. They climb that ladder, ladder can't carry a grown man. Yeah. I didn't see any splintering either. Did you? Okay. The shape of the branch supports the theory. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sure, must stay up here. It's the real Marvin. Thin steel wiring, parallel strands. This makes getting him down more problematic than I had. The brief suggested as much. Yeah. Politically motivated by, by the, the ongoing, ongoing strike. strike. Did you not get a briefing? Uh, my past is undergone total annihilation. My mother, the love of my life, certainly not okay. a briefing. You should ask me for one the first moment we get. The cadaver hangs from the cargo belt. 
Lim. <laughs> you just let me pass that one on as it was a passive comment. Okay. An intricate web of blue line stretches across the torso, from the right shoulder to the solar plexus. Each time they intersect, a small white star is formed in their crossing. Hundreds of fading asterisks riddle his skin. Their concentration is highest around his heart. I have only a cursive knowledge of the science of cybernetics. I would not know if it were. But it's not quite complex enough. There you go. Oh, pulls out the zipper of his jacket. What's he takes a thin piece of milled aluminium from his coat pocket and pulls it open. What's that? Get you get sunshine. Me. Ooh. Triggered is the world's leading manufacturer of intercommunication devices, primarily projectors. The camera before you looks familiar somehow. Shit, Kuno! What the fuck is that? An instant color camera. Ooh. I have only two ampoules, so nobody move. I don't want to waste one. A sound, a shrill flash, followed by the breaking of a small ampoule of glass. Oh, that's you super see cool. Streams of color pour onto the thick, glossy piece of paper, rolling out. In case we need it. Cool machine. Yes, it is pretty cool, isn't it? Whoa. It contains insight to the victim's person. By his build, I'd say this was a man of physical violence. The story he wanted his body to tell was important to him. It is his letter to us. Someone should decipher it. We need to show it around. Here, a souvenir. Ah, oh, he takes it to me. Don't lose it. The cool. glassy-eyed corpse looks by. Look him in the his eyes. His eyes are milky white and blind to the world. Oh, God. Protruding comically from their sockets. I don't like that. There is no one home. Just sub-aquatic terrors there. Dark brown hair grows on his head. His face is ready to explode from the organic processes inside. The death's head grin has passed. What remains is an unrecognizable mess. Tell me, dead man. Tell me. Who are to you, dead corpse, man? His dead son. Who is he? He is male, 40 to 50, with an athletic build. The corpse looks right through you as you distance yourself from its stem. Oh, are you sure down. we finished the preliminary examination of the cadaver? We might miss some of these things once he's done. The cadaver slowly twists on the cargo belt. Squint, take a step back. As you narrow your eyes, the monster before you blurs into a violent mess of green and pink. This is a trick. You've done it before. Pink is where the blood settled in the first hours post-mortem. You can use it to okay. see if the corpse has been tampered with. Does his position at the time of death match the discoloration? Only the lower extremities are pink with a dash of blue. His fatted hands, thighs, and his neck, just okay. above the noose. The rest of the corpse appears dark green in the cold spring air. Fans, his face and hands are pink. I see it. Thighs, His neck, too. too. The lividity goes right up his chin. We have good, well-pronounced discoloration here. The monster comes back into focus. An explosion of color. So, what do you think? I think he was upright after death. Agreed. Especially on the neck. The belt acted like a tourniquet, keeping the blood in. You would still like the hypostasis marks in the neck to be a bit more pronounced. For some reason, my brain would like the pink to be more pronounced, especially in Maybe the neck. It looks faint to you. It could be more pronounced, actually. Could he vomiting. would have been. Strangled yes, by something? There's always a chance we are wrong. We should check for ligament marks on his neck to see if they're in tune with the belt. We'll have to get him down first. I do. Most of them are post mortem. Oh, Maybe even all of them. Stop talking. He means he fucked him up good, Kuno. Fucked him up brutal like. Well, something's the coming out of blood and feces has eaten into the frozen mud below. The victim appears to have contained no more than half a kilogram. The fuck he say? Talking about shit. They 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 censored the bad word. Maybe. All right. I think he's dead. I His personality is no longer <laughs> a part of the world. <laughs> totally dead. Uh, the world stores his personality and his composition. There was a time for that, and it ended 
seven days ago. That sounds about right. Yes. All right. But there is no breath to catch. Only the cadaver filling the air and your nostrils. He slowly yeah, rotates um, before you. Hmm. The steel reinforced belt presents a unique challenge. He doesn't actually think the challenge is unique. unique. <laughs> of course, yes. Yes, I understand. I, thank you, Rhetoric. I understand what... Oh. The cadaver is a good 1.2 meters up. Mm. Neither one of us can reach the belt without assistance. And even if we do, there's the question of cutting the airship strength material. We could saw the branch. I'm up there and so the there has to be a less risky way, with less falling down of trees. <sighs> you asked for help I was from the really harbor. We wouldn't. The I yeah. would really prefer if there was another way. These people, but yeah. what other options? A corpse um, twists on the belt. Can we get someone else to do it? You mean? What was that about processing? Then, weren't they supposed to take care of the boots? Why the no? Oh, why? Think of the boys from processing as murderers. Only instead of people, they murder crime scenes. Processing is a wrecking crew. They know how to commission odd items and how. I know it's hard, but I assure you, the others won't come to help us. And we have a growing sanitary concern here. We could yeah, shoot it down. How? With the buckle ties the rope to the branch. That's a good spot to aim. The buckle well, holds it together. Ah, yes, I see. If the shot hits that, there might be a chance to release the belt. Yeah, no one. No miss. The pigs will miss Kuno. Take the shot, Lieutenant. What's the worst that could thing that I could happen? His head off. Take it. Yeah, take it. Silence. And produces a lightweight firearm. He drops a paper cartridge in the barrel. It's paper so cartridge. That's stick and gives the cartridge. Five tucks. That's such a. I mean. That's a Kiel A1990 armistice, mass produced muzzle loader, acetic, frugal. One okay. of the most common firearms. Why are muzzle loaders the most common firearms around? He then steps back and assumes the fellow's stess position, taking aim. The corner of his eye twitches. His finger is on the trigger. I'm not going to interrupt him here. The chief's voice is drowned in a shrill blast that echoes off the walls of the surrounding tenements. A cloud of smoke slowly parts in the air as the lieutenant steps back and says, says to himself, himself, God damn it. <laughs> Kuno could have hit it easy, but then Kuno's not fucking handicapped, is he? It's okay, Kuno's man. Kuno's daddy too. Kuno the lieutenant doesn't say a word, just looks at the gun in his hand. No, we are lucky as it is. We didn't break any more mistakes could put us in an unfortunate position with the locals. Well, I have no. to say, it's beginning to look unlikely we can get him down without assistance. It's bad as it is. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm not stopping you. <laughs> this is the yeah, take it, you fucking banana pointer. Take the the cold first. piece of bakelite and gunmetal is surprisingly light. Your fi the fuck are you waiting for, Kuno? The buckle comes into focus in your sights. You Why don't you just shoot yourself in your f mouth? At least you won't miss. <sighs> Close your, your left field eye first. of view narrows. The branch slows the slow movement of the branch in the wind, and your shoulders direct and the gun sink up, dancing hypnotically. Look, he's crying. You gonna cry now? Can I put a point in hand-eye coordination to try to get a better chance at this? Uh, I kind of want to save my skill points for important stuff, though. Okay. Let's just give it a shot. I'll take my 30% chance. Oh, fuck. Oops. I shot the corpse. A plume of smoke erupt. You missed the belt. But hit the Oh my god, he's gonna Oops. fucking cry, I knew it! What a uh. monster! <laughs> Start crying. It feels dry. Nothing comes out of you as you try really hard to cry. <laughs> oh no! I damaged my morale! Despair creeps into what? <laughs> getting fat on your weakness. What 
have a noble intention she once had as a police officer. <laughs> it's eating the all up I... You're still coming up with sentences. That's a step up from total annihilation, right? I'm seriously running out of shit to give, like cops. Um... Fuck me? Please leave the rage you have for after we finish in the. Nothing you can say. Oh, cop gives up the detective genre for social realism. Social realism. Another police officer resigned from the RCM. Okay. I, uh. Uh, 1048 was the last time, huh? Wow. I just 